Um, when the incident happened, I got the message to a text from Corozal, which I did not appreciate. If you lost that painting or misplaced it two weeks and a half, two weeks, I mean, give me a lead text. Social media is out there. My Facebook page is open. Your dad is on my page, etc. Just Mr. Sanke, you know what? I'll misplace the painting and I'll lose it. We're a human. I'm a reasonable person. I don't want people to feel like I, I don't need this type of publicity. My painting self itself, and like I always tell people, if I know you do this painting for the rest of my life, I don't make one dollar, I want to still do it because it's my love. But what I'm saying at the end of the day, we're going on with this painting. I never want to say nothing, but of course his dad this, did this whole five chapter stuff, and the last part include my painting. Okay, and that's when he accidentally revealed exactly what happened to my painting. And when I start doing all my research and stuff, for me personally, I don't care who think what. They intentionally didn't want to take that painting to represent as the national gift. Let me make something clear. When they called me and told me, Alex, we know you're good on concept. That's no news. Believe small people know about my work. Okay, we want you to put a concept together right on the phone. I told the individual, I'm not going to call no name, you know what, I have a concept already. She told me, man, like God really bless you. And that's the same concept that I use, that Rebecca was going to offer the world what Belize have to offer through our symbols and stuff like that. The national gift for somebody represent as an ambassador of this country, I went to Suriname and I know the value. For them to disregard this painting, it's a disgrace. And it's a disrespect to not only me, to the country of Belize.